By now, I'm sure you've seen Xavier Simpson's hook shot. Now, we all know why it's so valuable. It's essentially an unblockable shot because to get to it, even the tallest defenders have to reach over you, which usually ain't happening cleanly. So having this opens up a ton in his game, even when a defender is on his hip, any other type of shot may be difficult. So let's break down how he does it. So one big key here is that he often rotates towards the rim, even if it's slight or later in the release. Like here, for example, he starts off facing this way and then ends up a bit more towards the rim. This slight rotation makes it a much more manageable shot since it's not just his arm getting that power. There's some rotational power in there as well. And this release angle is much easier than all the way over the head, yet it's still unblockable most times. But being able to do it without this rotation has also been huge for him since sometimes when it's super contested, probably sacrifices a little bit too much on that release angle. So this makes it an even tougher, but also more impressive shot. And this is one reason why practicing a variety of release points here is so important. Sometimes he'll be able to rotate and release it a bit more comfortably, closer to an extension layup. But sometimes, based on where he is and how much rotation he gets, it's damn near behind his head. He also usually does this at a somewhat slower speed, or even comes to a really hard stop with that last step. To me, this is because oftentimes it can definitely be a bit easier to control and you don't have to worry about a ton of momentum moving away from or parallel to the basket. The rim is now a stationary target, not a moving one, if that makes sense. And here's the thing, why would he do it at a faster speed if it's pretty much unblockable? So it's not like he has to use that speed to separate out. I also notice the release trajectory of it as it comes out of his hand. He's really putting it up there and he usually drops it high off the backboard if he goes glass. So this takes a ton of touch, of course, but it also gives the ball a much better chance to fall through that rim than a more flat shot. And obviously, again, this helps him get above really tall defenders. Now also watch the release here. He's not fully following through, but kind of stopping his arm at the point where he's reaching straight up. This way, he doesn't get any downward momentum on the ball and it allows for a softer release and thus more touch. Vision is also a huge consideration here. Defenders may not be able to get to that shot, but they damn sure can block his vision by jumping and contesting. So he seems to make an effort to get his eyes on the rim a bit earlier than usual to gain some spatial awareness. Even if his vision gets blocked, he knows where he is. Also, now that he's at the NBA level, being able to get it up off that same foot is big time. I'd imagine the defenders are starting to try to predict it a bit more. So adding in this tool to make it more unpredictable is very useful, even if it's not as in rhythm. Also keep in mind here that the angles he's taking are usually involving defenders stepping in and trying to snatch it from him. So him being able to not only use these different pickups to get through these gaps, but also then smoothly transition into that hook is a really valuable skill to have. Lastly, notice the angle he takes at times, literally away from the basket. This way he's actively creating space from those defenders. Being able to shoot off of this is nuts, but it's clearly something he's trained. And it's actually probably a pretty easy shot for him since he's gaining separation doing it and doesn't have to worry about getting blocked. So this is a crazy tough shot, but I do think it's manageable and definitely valuable, especially if you're a smaller guard. This amongst many other things is something that we train in the small guard essentials program. So check that out through the virtual academy. Link is in the description. As always, thank you guys not only for tuning into this video, but for all the support. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Bindy Means Basketball for a lot more. I'm going to keep it real, I use DoorDash way too much to save time, which is why we've now partnered with DoorDash to make sure that you get on the wave as well. For a limited time, our viewers can get 50% off up to a $20 value and $0 delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code by any means. Don't forget, that's code by any means for 50% off up to a $20 value and $0 delivery fees with DoorDash. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and $0 delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code by any means. Subject to change, terms apply.